So in the last video, we took a 22 space box for a modular and we put in the power supply, we put in the cable harness, and now we're ready to start putting some sound modules in it, which is very exciting. So, hmm, which one should we start with? I know, we'll do the oscillator. So what is an oscillator? It's kind of a weird word. Well, in the acoustic world that we live in, uh, sound is typically vibration. Uh, our vocal cords vibrate, create our voice. Uh, the string of a violin vibrates. That's the sound source of the violin. The reed and the mouthpiece of a clarinet, for example, vibrates, and that's the sound source for the clarinet. Uh, even a column of air can vibrate within the body of a flute or within the pipe of a pipe organ, and that creates a vibration, and those travel through the air, and we hear them. But in electronics, uh, there's no moving parts. Well, there's electrons in there moving around, but we can't see them. They tell me that's true. Anyway, so I guess they decided to call it oscillator, otherwise it would be an electronic vibrator. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with oscillator on that one. So uh, let's take a look at the synthesizers.com Q106 oscillator. So on this oscillator, what do you think the oscillator would have in common with a pipe organ? If you stick around to the end, I'll explain that. So let's take a look at our oscillator close up. Uh, on the top, we have two major controls. One is the range switch, and it changes octaves, and one is the tuning or frequency. And the oscillator is our pitch source for our sound. Anytime we uh, hear a sound from our synthesizer, it's coming from the oscillator typically. So the oscillator has multiple waveform outputs. This is very important because if we're trying to, to create a certain type of sound, picking the right waveform for that sound is very helpful. So let's look at those real quick. So we have basically five waveform outputs. The first one is a sine wave. And it looks like this on the scope, and it even looks like the picture on the oscillator itself. Okay. The sine wave is a waveform that has uh, very few to no harmonics. It's just a very pure fundamental waveform. The next waveform over is a triangle. And you can tell it's a little buzzier sounding. So that's the... Um, triangle. So the next one is a sawtooth. So the sawtooth wave is very buzzy and the sawtooth wave has a combination of odd and even harmonics. It is the most harmonically rich waveform in a synthesizer and it's a very commonly used one. The next one over is the ramp and it sounds pretty much the same. Um, Audio-wise, there's probably not a real need for both of those, but when you use the oscillator in the low frequency mode, and it can be used as a modulator, all of these waveforms become very important, very unique. And so the last one is the pulse wave. And you can adjust the width. That would be a 50% duty cycle. It's on 50% of the time, it's off 50% of the time. If I move the width adjustment on here, we can create a pulse. Kind of sounds more like a bassoon instead of a clarinet. Kind of has a clarinet-y sound in the middle. And so you'll notice that the, that the waveform is off more than it's on. If I go the other way, it's on more than it's off. But it sounds the same. So what does the Q106 have in common with a pipe organ? Okay. The range switch. If you look at the range switch, we have 32, 16, 8, 4, and 2. You also notice it has a foot designation. So 32 foot, 16 foot, 8 foot. So if you're on 8 foot, 
if you're on a pipe organ and, and they have stops labeled the same way, 32 foot, 16 foot, eight foot, and you uh, play an eight foot pitch and you play the low C on a pipe organ, the pipe making that tone has to be approximately eight feet long. So, and you can imagine if you go to 16 foot, the pipe then would have to be 16 feet long. And some organs have a 32 foot pedal stop, very common. And that pipe, that low C pipe would have to be 32 feet long approximately. So that's where that comes from. This is very uh, historical, old nomenclature that comes from the pipe organs. Pipe organs were really the first keyboard instrument, I guess you might say. Uh, they came before the harpsichord, the piano, and all those others. So I thought that was interesting, and that's it, pipe, pipe footage. Anyway, I uh, appreciate y'all coming and seeing this. Uh, be sure and stay tuned for the next video as we dive deeper into this. And uh, if you want to see a list of all the modules that I put in this box, uh, go ahead and look in the description below, and I'll have that for you. And see you next time.